what is up guys it's your boy andy arts how you guys doing i'm back with another video and today we're gonna talk about a topic that you know your parents talked about your teachers talked about um a lot of people talk about this but uh, every, a lot, you know many people are afraid to to say it <laughs> but so in this video i'm gonna cover it we're gonna talk about why art is not a real job now more specifically why people believe that art is not a real job and when i say people i'm talking about I'm talking about normies right your parents your family that tell you don't go into the field of art um people in i don't know maybe some of your teachers told you you're probably not going to find a, a, an art job you guys get the point right so art is not a real job let's discuss it why people say it and what is it like in the real world here we go so let's start out with the you know the the, the reality right so um the truth about art is that art is not a primary necessity right so a, what are primary necessities for the average person so food water shelter health transportation education you know uh so everything from grocery stores you know buying food water so and so shelters apartments houses so and so health going to the hospital medical facilities nurses doctors dentists medical practitioners you get the point transportation you know uber drivers bus drivers train drivers public drivers pilots transportation right and then we have education which is teachers school teachers college teachers even people that teach online make a lot of money right so what do you think why do you think real estate investors make so much money you know historically real estate has been you know the fastest way to get rich in america right it's always been that way it's for a reason because people need living space people need apartments people need houses um so necessities the problem with art is that you know it's not the first thing that people think about let's say if you are a low income earner i don't know maybe you make you know the uh what's the low income in america or in the west is thirty thousand dollars let's say thirty thousand dollars uh you, you know the first you're, you're gonna spend money on your necessities first so you're not exactly going to be thinking about paying that you know even for cheap art prints like ten dollars twenty dollars you're not exactly going to be thinking about buying a print from your favorite artist on youtube for twenty dollars right those twenty dollars are gonna go to your gas <laughs> right that's the sad part about it so uh, and that's why people say that art is not a real job because people a lot of people normies they feel as though they don't really need it right oh i don't really need that it's something that they want so art is really more like a desire and one of the reasons why it has become easier and easier to make money as an, with, uh, as an artist is because we built a society that has allowed us to um you know to make money you know in our art and endeavors well if you're a musician artist painter you can still make money there's still many ways people still do it there's, there's plenty of people that make money as an artist right even if you're just like drawing pictures on the street like you know drawing car caricatures so it is not a primary necessity it is a desire art is a desire so once people the people that buy art are, are usually people that have you know their they have their shit together they have you know they're meeting other needs once they meet all their needs food water shelter health education transportation then they buy things that are more desirable like art right all right and now moving on to our second reason is that it's hard to find an art job on like other careers i've talked about this before so somebody graduates from college so, so in most careers you can find a job pretty quick you know usually not everybody but usually well if it's technology computer science criminal justice you know medical careers accounting education mathematics whatever construction you name it technical skills plumbing most people can find a job within a year or less usually right usually right some people take a little longer depending on your location which is i'm going to talk about that later but it the, when you finish art school most of the time art students do not find it so you really have to grind the people that are successful at art they really grind and grind and grind and grind it is it's a long it's a pretty long process you know 
another thing that nobody talks about right nobody talks about this but location 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 matters nobody talks about location uh you know people will tell you like if you want to be an actor oh you got to move to california right but uh if you want to be an artist it used to be right it used to be that most artists would move to new york and I, I think Paris, I think in France, was it? If I'm not mistaken, I think in France too. I, but that's like old school. That's like something from the 1950s, a different era. We're in 2023, a different era. And although we still, you know, we you can get a remote job. When you're trying to land that first job, you, you, you're you most likely it's not going to be a remote job. You know what I mean? So uh, location does matter. So if you're living in the Midwest, in Arkansas or in Utah or Ohio or something like that, in, in America, then you're probably not gonna find an art job, okay? Uh, that's why some people go for like a graphic design graphic design degree, uh, feel the graphic design, so that they can find work, right? So they can find work, and and then they'll go into a different art job like animation, illustration, right? So it's location does matter. Uh, it you know, but that is changing. That is changing. So. From now on, now on, I think a lot of animators, you no longer have to like move completely to California because a lot of that is changing. A lot of that is moving out. A lot of companies are also moving out of California, you know, uh, except for Disney. Disney's staying in California. <laughs> but other companies like Netflix and a lot of other companies, they're moving out of California for various, various reasons, you know. Uh, so location matters. Think about location. You do have to think about location and where you're going to work. Where is where is that job located? Like if you want to be an illustrator, working entertainment, like if you want to be a character designer, things like that, you have to get out of the your or your farm area in I don't know in Pennsylvania or Arkansas, <laughs> right? You got to get out of that small town and move your butt over to California or to New York or to down to Texas, wherever. You know, that's how it is. That's how that's how it is. And I think it will change in the future because of the pandemic. So many people are working from home. But until then, until then, okay, this is what we will have to do. Uh, there's also the problem with AI, but that's a different conversation. Now, another problem with art is that most art jobs are contract work. So you will be freelancing most of the time. Okay. Um, I the one YouTuber that knows more about this than I do is Mew Triplet. Mew Triplet actually worked in the industry. Okay, I've never worked for Disney, but Mew Triplet has. You can, guys, I'm gonna show you a picture of her right here, of her YouTube channel. Go out and check out her YouTube channel, very helpful. All right, so um, most art jobs are contract work, okay? I've actually worked as a graphic designer years ago. Uh, I worked with somebody and it was a bit of a waste of time, but it's once the job is done you're probably going to spend another few months finding another job for animators once the season once the you know the the series is over you're you're gonna have to start looking for another job that's just how it works you know the a lot of a lot of artists work with um you know unions it's just you know something that's just popular in the field of arts working with working with unions but in the meantime, you should be looking for work, like for Upwork, Fiverr, and now Artistry. Artistry has a marketplace. You can go on Fiverr.com, find clients over there, Upwork, freelance, get, put up your own website. You know, that's the way to do it. Uh, because most of the time when you're an artist, you will be independent. Like it's going to be like half freelancing and half working for somebody. Because when there's no work, you're going to have to freelance. That's just how it is, you know. And my advice to those who, uh, who, are in the, who are in the art world is to use the experience you gain to build your own art business on the side. So when you build an art business on the side, selling prints, selling, I don't know, selling, selling things, selling your art, uh, doing commission work, going to anime conventions and, you know, going to anime conventions and... Uh, you know, selling your stuff at anime convention, which, by the way, a lot of people make a lot of money doing doing that. Selling at anime conventions, comic con, you guys get the point. So make sure to have a side bit in your art business on the side. Let's say while you're working at some, I don't know, some advertising agency or whatever, or you're working for some kind of studio. Make sure that you're 
you know, you got your YouTube channel on the side, you got your social media on the side, and you're putting your artwork out there. You got you got your little website where you got, you know, your portfolio there so you can get commissions, sell prints, and you generate income um, outside of your job. And that will help you keep, you know, keep yourself afloat. You have a second, second income stream. So I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it there. So that's the reason why a lot of people say art is not a real job because it's it's um, most of the time you're not gonna be working, you know, by the hour. I would say one of the most steady art jobs is really being a teacher, teaching art at a school, teaching art at a college. As a matter of fact, teaching art in on YouTube, or teaching art online, starting your own, uh, you know, courses online. Uh, that's very, very profitable. Teaching is very, very profitable. So I guess if for those that want to secure our job, be an, be an art teacher. Like a lot of us don't go to school and then leave school so that we can go back to school and become a teacher. <laughs> we, a lot of, you know, we don't want to do that. But if you want a steady job, that's something that we're going to have to, uh, you know, consider. Right. So whatever your thoughts are, make sure to comment below sure to like this video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell for future notifications um it's your boy andy arts subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next art video peace